don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the freaking frogs gay. Do you understand that? Turn, turn the, the freaking frogs gay. Serious crap gay. Frogs freaking frogs. It's not funny. I'm going to say it real slow for you. Gay frogs. And so, I don't know if you've heard, but we've had a lot of arguments in the conference room. Sims in space is changing to Sims on Mars. But I don't agree with that because that could suddenly change. And it's taken a long time to recover from the solar system war. So this is why we've had such a long break again. Well, and people of the world have been trying to sort through all the mess of war and obviously the space virus as that's clearly still carrying on even though we're finally starting to see glimmers of hope and maybe possibly some kind of normality even though I've got to admit there's never been any kind of normality working in this studio the kind of colleagues that I work with so it isn't right but we're getting there so now we're gonna go over right. to the most interesting part of the news or I think it's the most interesting part of the news we're going yeah. to finally see how Cat Dennings and her grandchildren are getting on See, there she is with a birthday cake, but we don't want her to age up because she's already elderly. Oh, it's a granddaughter, that's alright. Yay, she's now a teenager. Well, as we all know, it's not, it's not, not like real life. She's going to put out some more candles because she's old. So, she's going to make her an adult now because if she dies, it won't be very good, will it? They'll become orphans on Mars. So now, the eldest is going to become an adult. And at the end of the day, I don't blame her. Who wants to have a teenager? Get all that nasty business out of the way. All the parties. Oh, now we've got the grandson. Let's get him out of the way. That's it. You blow them candles out. Oh no, he's going to be a grumpy teenage boy. Now, I'll get some more candles on that cake. Let's just get him to adulthood and get it out of the way. Because look how grumpy he looks already. Come on, blow them candles out. Come on, you can do it. Yay, he's now an adult. So that's a lot less stress on Cat Dennings. Not like she doesn't have enough stress already losing most of her family from leaving Earth to Mars. Now I'm being told I've got to report on more celebrities but Earthbound celebrities. So here we have Bitey Ride and Alpha Cobra 11 here on Earth. Now, Alpha Cobra 11 is being sensible, wearing a monkey mask. I don't know what she's doing, but she hasn't worn a mask, and she should be doing. So, but at least she's social distancing in a flying car. So let's see what they're doing. So they're flying out of the city, and the in a place called Bling County and they now dropped onto a garage 
and onto a very angry dude was now shooting the car. He's got some real issues. So now they're running into a garage. Ooh, there's a very nice orange car in there. Now she's got into the car, but I think she's just realised it's not hers. So the Alpha Cobra 11 is wearing orange, so I think he's going to suit it more, so he's going to take it away. And Bitey Ride is now going to go around the back and take the flying car. Or at least I think that's what she's doing. Yeah, she is. Yeah, that is exactly what she's doing. So, this is what Earth celebrities are up to these days. So, they're not doing much shopping. They're just flying about in Elon Musk's car that he brought out a few months ago. So, and now she's landing, or kind of, she's sort of hovering. I mean, how is this more interesting, producers, than people living on Mars? Oh no, housewives annoyingly call Cat Dennings too old for modern music. Now, Sims Madonna, yes, I can understand, but not Cat Dennings. So now we're going to go on to upcoming movies. Because I'm not very keen on Earth celebrities at the moment. They're not very interesting. So, movies coming in 2021. I mean, we did have some bad ones last year, but this year has been a bit of a struggle getting some made because of the restrictions with space virus. So, I'm still hoping we got some good ones. So the first one is how I got trapped in the time trailer. Oh, and it's a DeLorean what's got trapped in an alleyway. So I'm not kind of time that I was expecting. But we still don't know what year it is. I mean, there's nothing to give it away. And now we've got the trailer for the car delivery movie. I'm quite sure it's just another... Fast and gormless spin-off franchise. I mean, I know it's been quite popular and it's done well, but come on, people, how many do we seriously need? I mean, it's just another car being driven around. I mean, at least switch it up a bit. It's always sports cars or an alien expensive car. Can't, can't, can't make it like a... A reasonable price car, something that I can see myself driving. I mean, I can never afford one of them. So it's not very relatable. Is it? I'm not going to drive one of them. And even if I could drive one of them one day, I wouldn't dare drive it like they do. I'm too scared of scratching it. I don't know. So what's this film about? What's happening in it? They're just going up a hill and stopping and making sure they don't crash. It looks like these people can't afford this car either. I don't know. Come on, I don't need, come on producers, I need some plot or something to talk about. Right, this black car's going up a hill. It's clearly getting delivered somewhere. Maybe to some bad guys or some good guys, I don't know. Oh, it's going up a drive now. Oh, it's worth a lot of money. Oh, there's a helicopter. That's way more interesting. Oh, and it's celebrities again. So it's Bite Your Ride and Alpha Cobra 11 are in this movie. Oh, this is more like it. Office Movie 2, Overtime. And that's what I mean, I did like Office Movie 1. So this looks more like my kind of movie. So now we're in the office. I'm hoping it's going to be funny like the first one. So what's happening? Hey, look at all that money! We just don't need to be doing overtime. You got lots of money. Uh, 
Alright, so where are we going? It's called the office movie and I'm barely in the office! They're already leaving! Why are they leaving? Do they need office supplies? Are they off the staples? I mean, they show our DL envelopes. Do they need the um, reams of paper? Do they run out of ink? Ooh, but I do like how they're going for the stationery. They're actually going in a helicopter. Oh! Oh, this is very different from the first movie. I don't think they're going for stationery. They're blowing somebody's house up. Um. Okay, so that wasn't for stationery then. And I don't think it's for admin either. But this is very different. else could they be doing from an office? Curiouser and curiouser I am. Anybody else have anything on the plots? I mean, you're making me talk about these movies, but nobody's giving me the plots or anything. Or even any information of who's in the movies. Producers. Oh, the helicopter's on fire. Okay, so she's running up a hill. Oh, well, it's all they're telling me is how this fall. Oh, if you like, you like me, it's out this autumn. Right, now they're in a normal car. So, are they going back to the office? Are they finally going to do some office work? I mean, are they sales reps? They haven't explained anything. I'm looking forward to getting some popcorn. I'm getting to watch some movies again. Out this winter office movie free, the night shift admin. Right, so we're gonna see some admin this time. Is it gonna get more like the first movie? Wow. Well, She's drinking on the job. They've left the office again. They're not very good office workers, are they? They're terrible. Oh, there he Oh, pardon me. Maybe they've gone out for something to eat. Because let's face it, I haven't seen them go for lunch in the second movie. Maybe the boss isn't that mean. Maybe they're allowed to eat, surely. Can't be going out for stationery at this time, surely. Well, I'm sorry everyone. The plot of this movie, um, your guess is as good as mine. Maybe go on our social media page or comment below. Have a bit of a guess. Well, they've literally just shown me these clips and haven't told me nothing. Nobody's told me nah. It's just ridiculous. But it does look like a fun movie. Whatever the plot is. Or maybe it's fun because it doesn't have a plot. Well, it's got more action than the first Office movie. Mm -hmm. 
I mean that one the most action in that one was with the photocopier and a stapler I don't think anyone forget the stapler scene this one and the second one is mostly cars Ooh, what's happening here? They're very popular now, aren't they? The flying cars in movies of this year. You bring one out and now they're everywhere. There's so much competition. Ooh. This definitely isn't a typical office movie. Or a typical office job. It looks like there's a photo shoot down here. And there's a guy with a baseball bat. I think the office worker's boss is a bit... It's a bit dodgy in this movie. Is, is he expecting a report on this? Oh. <gasps> no, that's just terrible. Oh, this is nothing like the first movie. This isn't this isn't a proper office movie. they thinking it turns more into a fast and st stupid movie I don't know maybe it's the social distancing thing maybe they've had to think outside the box well inside the cars maybe maybe the office movies were a bit too dangerous to do because people have to be closer together Yeah, I think that's got to be it. They're a bit restricted. So I'm presuming she's going back to the office now. one's done with yeah I'm, I'm not really keen I prefer the original office style movies not not like these other car movies you know we don't need more of them come on people we need variety oh maybe this is a bit more like it alpha van 80 style
now we've got the sad miner's tail. It's based in a sleepy Yorkshire town. Where all these poor people, all they've got is mining jobs. And they've got hard lives. And all they've got. The mine owners don't look after them. They look after the little ponies bear and they just send little kids down into the dark and just make them dig up coal and they're not allowed to keep any precious gems or any iron or anything that's precious. They get to keep it all. But the only good thing that's going for them is that they're in a very beautiful world. And it's a beautiful part of the world. But the problem is they're so poor they have to share little, little living spaces together underground. But they still got smiles on their faces because they, they've got gratitude for what little they have. Because that's the Yorkshire spirit. And by heck they have it by the bucket load. girl came across an amazing artifact that she uncovered and she decided to fix it and she changed the sleepy little Yorkshire town forever and ever she changed the destiny of everybody in that place and that time She had uncovered a portal to the Matrix, but not just any Matrix portal, the Multi-Matrix. Don, press key return or wireless control or right button to open chat. Now it was beyond a blue pill or a red pill choice. Now there were so many places and worlds to discover. You could create a new one. You could design one. Anything in your imagination. Or you could leave a world. And you could visit one that you'd rather get back to. Like Cat Dennings. Being on Mars and finding out how they're doing. I was talking about miners in Yorkshire. So whatever you choose, choose well and enjoy. But definitely come back here and find out how the wonderful Cat Dennings is doing now with her new grown-up family and see how her grandchildren are doing. Until then, bye!